Hey guys, um, it's Hattie again here and today I'm going to be doing a what is in my travel makeup that I'll be bringing with me because I'm going away for a couple of days on Tuesday. So I thought I'd just show you guys. It's in this cute little, it's kind of overflowing, cute little makeup bag got from Superdrug a couple of months ago and it says hashtag makeup on it and um, it's quite sturdy, like kind of not suede but thick kind of steady yeah. material so yeah I think I'm just gonna jump right in so firstly I have this 17 to find and conquer contour kit you can use any contour kit you like but I just chose to use this one you've got to have bronzer and a highlight shade you can just bring bronzer if you want to do I don't know what you're into um next is a beauty blender to blend out all your makeup I think these things are really handy and I really like blowing out my concealer with them. A um, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which is this here. I hit pan, yay! I get excited over like the smallest things, then you judge. Um, a little just fluffy brush that you can do this with. Um, I always buy cheap ones of these, buy cheap, buy twice. It's really soft and it works exactly the same way as any expensive other brush would. Um, Sorry, you know, oh, oh, oh. this lasting finish colour rush um, by Rimmel in Sunkiss. It's like a lipstick gloss pen thing. And I sometimes like getting my fluffy brush and like colouring it in and then like using it as blush. I kind of did that today, but I didn't put very much on. And I did it about five hours ago, so it's obviously going to wear off if it's like in a stick form like that. I usually use this little brush here so I can kind of blend out really nicely. Sometimes I like to use this for blending in my contour but usually I have a specific brush for that see. Um, I have this Undress Your Skin um, Shimmer Highlighter by Makeup Academy. This is one of my favourite highlighters here. I this like The print on it is really beautiful. It's kind of got like a swirly print. I don't know I'm pulling that up, it's not a mirror. But it's like got the swirly print and it used to have lines all over it but obviously I've used it quite a bit now. I'm just gonna give you a quick swatch. Look at that. It like reflects this light beautifully and I really really like wearing it on my cheekbones. I'm wearing a little bit of it today but you can't really tell. Um, brows, I just like to use this to comb through my brows. Um, I can't remember where it's from. Everything is kind of rubbed off. I'm pretty sure it's like Oh, Rachel, listen, I'll, I'll see you in the morning and then we, we can I don't even know, I can't even see that. It says like professional eyebrow right, something. Mate. Cheers, mate. I have no idea. But it's in dark brown, so if you guys want to get that, you know, go have a look. And if you know what it's from, leave it in the comments down below so I know. Um, Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Yet again, everything is rubbed off. I use this so often that everything just rubs off. This is a number two cool medium, if you can see that there. <laughs> so yeah, I have a e.l.f. all over colour stick in, um, what do you call it? Pink lemonade. And this is a cream blush in like a stick form. And it's like a highlighty shade as well. So I don't tend to use a highlighter with that. I like that and um, in case I just can't be bothered to do the blush and the highlight, I will just use this. Um, I just like the blush I have because I don't really like powder blushes. Everyone I've tried, they all look, um, what do you call it, chalky and stuff. So I'm just trying to find a perfect one at the moment so I don't really have one. So yeah, I have this blending brush. You can use whichever one you want. This one I've had for ages and ages and ages and I don't even know what it's from because it's probably rent, like fallen off or something. It looks like a fake Real Techniques one. So yeah, that's that. I have an e.l.f. lipstick in Flair Delicious. I'm pretty sure I swatched this earlier. I'm just going to go over the swatches. Is it that one? Yeah, it's that one. So there's that. That is an old swatch. That's that. Yeah, but there. So that's that. Look. Oh, hold on. What's that? It's a beautifully kind of bright, corally pop of pink. I have e.l.f. eyelid primer. I actually prefer this to the Urban Decay 
Prima Potion and it's one pound on the other I believe is six or seven pounds. I have this Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick. I really like the packaging for this, I just think it's really pretty. And like the I always like the little crowns on the top of the Rimmel lip lipsticks. It's matte so it just makes everything that much better. There it is. It's kind of a purple toned colour. I really like wearing this in the summer. A mascara, this is a natural collections one. I haven't really found one that I really really like at the moment. So I'm kind of just using this and it really like separates my and lengthens my lashes. So that's all you really need. Don't know why this is there. Um these two pools boutique bow is it bow or boutique? I don't even know. Um two little lip glosses. This one is a nude shade, this one is a dark pink shade. The dark pink shade I wouldn't just whack it on, um I would like put a little bit of my finger and blend it out as I would with any other dark lipstick or lip gloss shade. I have this MAC lip liner in nice and spicy. Mm -hmm. It's quite a dark shade, quite a dark brown shade. I have my two Revlon lip butters. These, I don't have two, but I have, I have more. But these are just the two I decided to bring with me in shade 45 and 90. This is shade 45. It is a beautiful sheer pink with golden undertones. I can't really see it though, which is a shame. The Revlon lip butters, I really like the packaging and I really like them as like a wash of colour kind of if you're wearing them to school or something. But they're not something if you want a bright pop pigmented gloss kind of look. The only one that really has, this is the one with the most pigmentation for me personally, it's number 90. And it looks like that. Sorry the lighting's quite bad today guys, um, it's getting kind of dark now. I was going to film this midday, but then I had to go out, and I woke up midday, and um, the lighting's just bad now. It's raining and it's miserable, even though it's the summer, so it should be lighter, but don't ask me. Um, I have this Essence Lip Liner in number 7, Cute Pink. I really, really like the Essence Lip Liners. They're like pound fifty, and they're just so good. I really, really like them. I'm kind of random swatching, kind of like all over my hand. Usually when I swatch, I just randomly swatch. I don't use it like in lines and stuff. I'm not a neat person like that, but I am with every other thing. I have this Maybelline New York Master Precise Liquid Liner. Um, I really, really like this liquid liner. I use it for everything. The nib just looks like that. It's in a dark brown shade because I feel... Obviously, because I'm younger, I don't want just black because I think that's a bit too harsh on my eyes. So yeah, I use that. I have a Technique Black one for my waterline or my tight line, which is the bit of skin underneath your eyelashes there. Not like on your eyelid, but like underneath it there. Um, last couple of things, I have Laura Geller um, Retractable Baked Powder Brush. Like that which is really great for traveling and you can just sometimes you can have it sometimes I use it like that and I have it as like a contour you can have it fluffy like that for blending out your contour you can have it maybe a bit like that and like blend in your blush really nicely so yeah there's that I really like that it's one of my favorite brushes um Burt's Bees you can have another and oh, you can never have enough lip balm. You can use whichever lip balm you like. Um, Elf lipstick in classy. It's like a really pretty purpley kind of shade. And that one. See, I had to put it back over the swatch where it was earlier. Because mm. I need like that. Last thing I have is this Mac lipstick in kind of sexy, and I'm wearing it today. It's a really beautiful orange tone and it is a matte. I really like this. It's the best nude ever. So that is all I have in my makeup bag. Completely empty. So yeah, that is all I'll be taking for makeup with me when I go on a holiday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. 
um, leave in the comments what videos you would like to see in the future, future, and subscribe to me now before you forget, um, so that you will never miss another video like this. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later.